I've recently had the opportunity to sit down and chat with some of my mastermind sisters about their experiences of personal growth and transformation within the Charmed Life Mastermind. These conversations were completely unscripted outside of an outline of a few key questions that I asked each of them. It's my intention in sharing their stories that any of you who might be curious or on the fence about joining the mastermind can find a sense of connection in each of their experiences to understand the common struggles and outcomes that we face and work towards inside of our community. Here is one such interview. Enjoy. So please introduce yourself to us. Hi, my name is Kimberly. Um, I'm from California, United States. Well, United States, obviously. Um, my occupation is I'm a respiratory therapist right now. And I've been a member since December of 2020. Um, I have three children and I have pets that I manage and I am looking into getting into a business. And I'm also right now currently into crypto trading and nfts yeah we need to get we need to talk more about that <laughs> inside the group maybe start a crypto channel um right. so that's awesome yeah so you're definitely one of the founding members you've been here from you know the foundation of the mastermind so you've been with me since the beginning you've seen how it's evolved so i can't wait to share your experience with uh, the rest of the community so tell me what was the reason why did you initially decide to join the mastermind um, I would say I initially joined the mastermind um, after watching one of your videos. Um, it was like a free productivity video. This is probably like maybe like 2019. And then after then, I kind of just, you know, stumbled across the disc system. So I found this disc system and it was like I was into all the stickers and decorative planning. But I found myself not really using it because I was, first of all, afraid to mess up. And then if I did use it and I found the accessories I wanted, then I figured out that I wasn't really using it. So then I ended up Googling um, productivity and uh, not productivity, but it's called um, ooh, functional planning. So I ended up looking up functional planning and then you came up again. And it just so happened that day you were having a live session and you introduced the mastermind. And I already resonated with you so much that I just knew, you know what I mean? My intuition told me, just join it. Like sometimes I'll think about financial, you know, no just join it. So that's why I joined. Awesome. That's a really interesting story, right? I like, there's so many people that are, that are in the mastermind that have been with me for years. And there are a few people as well who like recently found me. And then like, it sounds like just kind of out of like a fluke on the right day, my class came up and it was like a sign, right? That you were being magnetized to this information in this community. So Definitely. I love how you're, you know, you are, are definitely an example of something that I'm actively trying to combat, which is the idea that the planning community, as much as it's wonderful and diverse, and there's so many different things you can do. Um, I know that there are so many women like you who come to the planner community because like, I want to get my stuff together. I want to do right. more. I want to achieve more. And then they get caught up in the pretty planning details. There's nothing. I don't think there's anything wrong with pretty planning. As long as you're very clear that that's not necessarily the thing that's going to make you productive. Like the pretty planning is great. The accessories are great. But so many people get bogged down because of the perfectionism, not wanting to mess their planners up because it looks so good. And, right. you know, they're not really, the pretty planning isn't really supporting a true sense of functional planning, right? So you're a perfect example of someone who, you know, that's how you found me is through, you know, those solutions and the clarity that I'm bringing to that situation, which is, Stickers are great. They're not going to solve your to-do list problem, right? So we want to be really clear on our expectations for what your planner can and cannot do based on how you're using it. So thank you so much for that. So well, also, I, with your, you were still, it was still functional, but still pretty. Like yeah. the colors, everything, I just resonated with everything. I was like, this is perfect. Awesome. <laughs> I just right in there. So once you did join, take that leap of faith and you joined the mastermind, what surprised you once you got in? Oh my gosh, I was very, very surprised at the content we provided when I finally joined. I didn't know there was going to be the Slack, you know, and then all these different channels with affirmations and astrology. Like I was overwhelmed with the information. I had no clue. And it's like, 
the mind shift, the mindset shift alone that I got from the affirmations, like that was just like beyond my biggest <laughs> dream of what I could find in a productivity. I'm thinking it's going to be productivity, not something that included everything basically that I use and utilize in my life. Yeah. And that's like the point, right, of the way I do productivity and planning is I feel like there's other topics that are deeper than just how to plan that go into your perfectionism and overcoming that and go into how we, you know, take action on our to-do list more often, right? And how we get realistic about setting expectations and boundaries and what's possible for us. So I'm glad that was uh, good for you. So what about the classes? I know you're someone who comes to class. How do you, do you, uh, how do you tend to use the class materials and, and things like that? Well, I print out everything that you provide. I think the biggest tool that you have is your slides that you provide mm -hmm. because a lot of times you know we go over it together but then you have the slides after we finish like i'm able to go through the slides highlight watch the youtube video because you know we all learn differently and yeah. i learn through audio i learn through visual i learn through rewriting and you know you're able to provide that for me yes. um and actually you know i was just diagnosed with adult on adult onset or no not adult onset but whatever i was diagnosed with adhd as an adult mm -hmm. so you know it's kind of hard when you have adhd to be able to like manage your day because i could get stuck on like um busy work instead of actually doing things it's like you know perfection over the productivity and you can get hyper i know that hyper focusing on on things sometimes the things that don't matter or aren't as high as priority that's something that people with adhd definitely suffer with um, not suffer with, but that's a struggle, right? Like it's a struggle is to, you get hyper-focused on something that really isn't a needle mover and maybe the big things kind of get, kind of get lost, right? And that's, you know, there are so many women in the community that actually do identify as having either ADD or ADHD, either they were clinically diagnosed or they just highly suspect it, um, especially from talking to other members and kind of resonating with their stories and experiences. So we do have that ADHD clubhouse, we call it, inside of the Slack community because, you know, there is a, a difference between the way people learn um, based on the way that you, your neurology works. So if you're, you know, you know, not a typical neurology, right, you have ADD, ADHD, or any other of those sorts of um, you know, different sorts of neurotypical, atypical is it what it's called, I guess, when you're not typical, yes. um, you know, differences, right? So I do try to make sure that my, my resources reflect the various ways that people can learn. And you could learn different way anyway, even if you're, you know, a normal, normal, you know, stereotypical neurology, um, you know, they, they, everyone has their own ways of learning. So yeah, I do try to make sure I give you guys all different resources and definitely the slides. I know it's easier sometimes to just go through the slides because I keep inf lots of information on my slides than it is to rewatch an entire masterclass, especially when you come to so many of them live, which is so, which is so wonderful. And I'm so excited for everyone who's able to attend live because I do think you get a little bit more out of the experience. Definitely. Do. Yeah. So thank you for bringing that up because that's, that's a really great point to make as well. Um, so what wins have you had during your time in the mastermind that you attribute to either the information, support, or just the atmosphere of the, of the mastermind? It's definitely um, the community, the community and the fact that on the Slack, you're available. Like, I don't know how you do it, but like anytime it's, you know, hundreds of, we put a message in there, you're able to reply to us and you get back to us really pretty fast, you know, and like everyone holds everyone else accountable. Everyone is helpful. You know, the handouts alone, you know, like when you're, we need another handout, you create those handouts for us and they're right there for us. <laughs> yeah. 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 And I feel like, you know, I feel like you're like a life coach. A yeah. I, I, that's how I see that. I do see this as me being your on demand, like productivity coach and mentor, as well as your mastermind sister. Like I'm creating this community that also, you know, it's centered around my philosophies and the way I approach and the research that I do. But Yes, I'm, I'm, you know, a few people have said that as well, that I'm very accessible, which is something that some people were surprised by as well in the mastermind is that I, you guys are my number one priority in my work, right? So I have lots of things I'm doing, but you're taking care of you guys is my number one priority, making sure I'm there for you, checking. So I have Slack open on my phone, on my computer all day long. I can get back to you guys very quickly. Um, so that's great. Yeah, I definitely think the community atmosphere is very important to helping people remain accountable and finding even more like-minded women like you who are, um, you know, 
I'm sure you love having the ADHD group, right? The, pe the people who come on the calls and you're like, okay, now what Alexis said, but let's interpret it for ADHD minds, right? Or ADD minds, right? So that's something that usually happens on all of our calls as well. So I'm glad that you've been finding the community to be a valuable resource and the inserts and, you know, handouts, workbooks and, and all that, all that extra. It kind of goes along with like, it. Hmm? My most recent win came huh? from the money mindset, the money manifestation class. Yeah. Like, I'm making more money than I've ever had before. Like, oh my goodness! You know, it's, it's kind of like I I have this thing to where I feel like you know, okay, I have to break these limiting beliefs. I have to do this. I have to do that. It's going to take years to break through this, but no, it's not that difficult. No, it's, it's pretty, not that difficult. No, I mean everyone has their own you know journey with this, and this is something I talked about with Dory in her interview was that she didn't realize how many limiting beliefs that she had that she had to get through, but. Breaking your limiting beliefs, you know, it, it, it's a process, but it doesn't, it does not take years. Like, and a lot of people like you, and I would say too, Jen um, is another member of the mastermind who did an interview and her interview, she talked a lot about what she was, she's been manifesting money all year too. So it's like, it's not something that really takes very long to see the benefits of. And I'm very clear, look, I can't explain metaphysics to you. I mean, I can tell you the things that are the principles. I don't know why it works but we know that it does work, right? And that's the most important thing. So I give you guys those structures. So that's a phenomenal that you've been bringing in the money. That's amazing. I need to spend more time with Kimberly and her abundance mindset right now because that's what, you know, that's my word of the year, what I'm going for. <laughs> so then what would you tell someone who was on the fence about joining the mastermind? Um, so on the fence, I think most likely they're on the fence because they're thinking about the financial commitment. And I think we like this, like we all go to places to get coffee. I feel like it's worth it, you know, to go ahead and just make some coffee at home because nothing is worth as much as our time. And like to be able to be part of the mastermind and the way you give us the handouts and the resources, I trust your judgment. I trust everything that you read and the experience that you've gained that I could take this class once a month on a Saturday or throughout the week and be able to like, you know what I mean? You know, be productive and actually have the mindset to continue to be productive and also how to manage my energy and everything. So it's worth it because that's your time. You're saving your time. It's worth it for that. Because if you think about the cup of coffee or the little purse or something like that, don't make that, you know, a decision, you know, for you to not join. Yeah. And that's actually, it's so funny that you say that because that's actually one of the points that I make on, on, on the sales page for the mastermind is, oh wow, it is, it is, it says it costs the, it's the, it's the price of, a, of, um, to go lattes for a week, but it'll, the in increase to your productivity lasts far longer than that. Right? Like you get a jolt from the caffeine and you're like, yeah, I'm all buzzed. I can get stuff done. That's like a week of to go lot, depending on where you go. Maybe it's a couple of days to a week, depending on where you're going for your, you know, if you're going to McDonald's, you know, it's a couple more visits because they're, you know, the one to $2 coffees, but you're going to Starbucks and you're paying six, five, $6 a, a coffee, a couple of coffees equivalent. And you are getting this on demand knowledge. And like you said, it's, it isn't even that much of a time commitment. I have got a lot of options that if you wanted to be super involved and come to everything, there's lots of things, but just showing up for a class once a month or just watching a replay, what you learn, I'm I'm doing the hard work of, the harder work we'll say of, you guys are actually, no, no let's scratch that. The hard work is doing the work you guys come for. The, the, the actually applying it, putting it in your life, the mindset work, that is the hard work. I'm doing the legwork, right? I'm doing the research. I'm synthesizing all that information. I'm breaking it down into actionable things. I'm teaching you what I've learned from numerous books into a two hour class, right? That is, you know, I think you're right. Absolutely the value. And also like you mentioned before, I'm there. I'm like your on-demand, not, I don't like to say life coach, but I guess it is life. I think of it me as a productivity and success, right? That's what we're, we're all about, creating our charmed lives, right? So that's what we're all doing together. So Thank you so much, Kimberly, for your time and your insight in, into the mastermind. I really appreciate you and having you, you know, being one of the founding members, people who are, have really invested in this experience and are reaping the benefits from it and being, you know, active and valued members of our community. I'm so glad to have you. So thank you so much, Kimberly, for joining me today and sharing your story. Thank you, Alexis. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye.